Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to fix, clean, and repair your Windows registry. This tutorial will apply for Windows 11, Windows 10, Windows 8, and Windows 7 devices. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So before you do anything, I would suggest you create a backup of the registry. So I know as ironic as it sounds, but if anything further goes wrong with your registry, at least you'll be able to recover from it. So in order to create a backup, all you have to do is open up the search menu, type in regedit, R-E-G-E-D-I-T. Best result should come back a registry editor. Go ahead and right click on that and select run as administrator. If you receive the user account control prompt, go ahead and select yes. So in order to create the backup of your registry, all you have to do is select File and then Export. File name, I recommend naming it the date in which you're making the backup. Set Export Range to All and then save it to a convenient and easily accessible location on your computer. And if you ever needed to recover from the backup, all you have to do is select File and then Import and navigate to the file location. So again, pretty straightforward process, guys. And now we are ready to begin. So we're going to start by opening up a web browser. doesn't matter which one, but we're going to use Google Chrome for today's tutorial. And you want to search for reg, R-E-G, S-O-F-T-S, space registry repair. So it's regsofts.com. Go ahead over to their website here. And then you want to select the download now button. Go ahead and open up the file and then select yes if you receive the user account control prompt. Select next, select next again, next, and then next. Select finish, and now select full scan. Okay, so once that's done, go ahead and select the Fix Errors button. And then once it's done, close out of here, and you want to go restart your computer. Okay, so there you go, guys. Hopefully that was able to resolve your problem. And as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.